life can throw us endless obstacles. Don't I know it? And in certain times when life seems as if it's falling apart, when we're feeling sad or depressed, it seems that our biggest dreams are fading off in the distance and we're not sure how to move forward. So that's why I wanted to create a video about the writing technique I use that may not be advancing on a manuscript, but it certainly helps. Whenever you're feeling down, whenever you're feeling hopeless, you can use writing as a healing tool in order to move forward. So I'm Emily Tamayo Maher. I'm the author of this book right here, The Meaning Method, A Spiritual Path to Writing and Publishing. But in this video, I want to talk about one of the authors that ha has had the biggest impact on my life, and that is Julia Cameron and The Artist's Way. This is a book that I was given as a gift during one of the darkest times in my own life. And so I wanted to dig in and talk a little bit about why the artist's way can really help you no matter what the circumstance, uh, no matter what kind of circumstance you're in. So ever since I was a little girl at a very young age, I was diagnosed with attention deficit disorder. And I was also medicated from a very early age. And so by the time I got to college, I was terribly addicted to amphetamines. I was taking more than my dose, sometimes double my dose. My The symptoms of my addiction were terrifying. And of course, anyone who's had something like that in their family knows how scary it is for families, for relationships. It's extremely emotional and it's very difficult to navigate. And so just heads up, I am not saying that a book like The Artist's Way is going to get you through an addiction. I went through an, uh, a program, I went through withdrawal and all of that. But when I was on the other side, I didn't know about recovery. I didn't know about 12 steps. And this book, from anything you're recovering from, it really helped me and I wanted to talk a little bit about how and why. So I mentioned this time when I was feeling, when I was going through one of the biggest struggles that became one of the biggest turning points in my life. And it was actually my mother who gave me uh, Walking in This World by Julia Cameron. And of course it's moments like these that we never forget those turning points. And the tools that she showed me that I had never learned about before were both that her books are organized as a 12 step program. So it's day by day inspirational writing that you can get into so you feel less alone. But the practice that I think is so important for recovery is something that many of you may have heard of before, but if you haven't, I wanna talk about it right here, right now and that's morning pages. So morning pages are just three pages of stream of consciousness journaling where Julia Cameron teaches us to get up to date, so to speak. We, whatever thoughts are going through our head, whatever is happening in our lives, whatever we're worried about, excited about, whatever we're feeling, we get down onto the page. And we do this in about 20 minutes, three pages, and we just get up to date with ourselves. In morning pages, whatever's coming into consciousness, we get our insides outside of us where we can see it. And that is how you can navigate really hard times. Now, as a book coach, I think this is so important because having partnered with so many people going through the obstacles and roller coasters in their own lives, we can feel like during tough times, we're not advancing on our book. And I'm here to tell you that that pressure is not helping and you actually move forward faster when you just write the truth. Don't try to structure it. Don't try to make it perfect. Don't worry about what other people will think or how it's going to affect your relationships. If you just begin to do morning pages and write stream of consciousness when you are at the peak of whatever it is you're going through, the difficult times you're going through, then you're going to find that pass faster. You're going to find there's you can't go over it. You can't go under it. You've got to go through it. And so these writing in morning pages, they can be 
good to take a break from the obligation of the book and really focus on a stream of consciousness type of journaling, like three pages in 20 minutes, which is Ju what Julia Cameron talks about. And so as you, as you get honest, as you start to really get your insights out of you and understand what you're going through, then naturally the struggles in our life become some of the most profound, wise, and emotional content we have later to contribute to the world. And so be able to put aside the pressures of writing for publication and start trying a practice like morning pages, because no matter what you're writing, I look back at my journals from that time and a lot of the lessons and the empathy and the support that I have to give people today come back from going through that myself. But first, I needed to get through it. And so that's why I wanted to create this video for everyone today to be able to just highlight resources such as Julia Cameron and The Artist's Way. So you'll find the link to her book below. I'll also provide a free resource, which is the Writing and Yoga Staycation. It has fun writing prompts, and it's just a great mixture of spirituality and literature so that you can start to get into that regular practice of just putting pen to paper. So every single Friday, I put out supportive videos on the writing craft and ways to move forward as an author. And so subscribe to this channel so you keep getting the good stuff. And I will see you next Friday. So much love.